seeing it for the very first time. Whatever you want to call this, whether you want to call it the revelation, whether you want to call it the quote unquote great awakening, right? The shift. I don't care what label you put on this, change is coming. What we've tasted from 2020 up until 2022, where we're at now, was just a small example of this change that I'm talking about. Now, you've been following here for a while, you've been listening to the podcast, you've been watching the videos, you understand that all of this is inevitable, right? Because when you think about energy, when you think about what you truly are, right? You are multidimensional. You are here on a spiritual destination. You're not here to just abide to this meat suit, right? Therefore, there are going to be altercations, confrontations, right? Disputes, dramas, traumas <laughs> of all kinds and every kind. Now, not only is that playing out in your own individual life with your own individual karma, right? It's playing out on the collective, through the political environment, right? Through politics, through the agendas that are playing out through the matrix, through all of this being trickled down to everybody at that consumer level. All right, so shout out to everybody right now who even has any spiritual discipline or if you have any sort of lacking to go beyond the control, to go beyond that matrix, the fact that you understand that there is another dimension beyond 3D, the fact that you understand that there are guides, there are angels, there are energies, there are things that the you know Western world, that our scientific world will never understand, right? The fact that you are even into this, the fact that you're here listening, watching, all of this means something. So understand that there is a force, right? There's an energy behind all of this that you have tapped into, okay? And there are other people, right? stuck in that veil of illusion, stuck in that control, <laughs> listening to the fake news, going through into this and that next fear state and going to complain about this or complain about that, right? And you have to practice 5D. You have to practice the oneness. You have to practice the love. You have to practice the thing that nobody else is willing to do right now. Because remember, we're the minority, okay? We're less than 1% even, honestly. Like we're talking about a very small percentage, right, of this huge, you know, eight, nine, 10 billion people on our planet, right? So understand that all of this has to happen for a reason, okay? And this, what we call, you know, coronavirus, uh, you know, Omicron, uh, all of these things, right? Uh, these manifestations, okay, of what we're experiencing in the collective conscious are not going to just disappear. You see what I mean? So we're going to evolve and we're going to continue to have these things come up in our society, right? And the question is, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to blame people and get into conspiracy theories or, or this and that? No, or are we going to simply love and understand that all of this is happening because it needs to happen on the karmic level? You see, it's going to play out. Things are going to happen, right, on the stage. And we can talk about that all day long. Or we can talk about the energy. We can talk about what you truly are beyond this stage, beyond this show, beyond this dance, this act, this movie, you see, you're the producer. You're the one who is creating all of this. You're the one who has to see beyond it as the creator. You see, I like to call it the, you know, jumping from the consumer to the creator. We've all been there, right? Mindless, going through the drive through at McDonald's, just going through those motions in life, right? Stuck in zombie mode, right? You're just a consumer. You're just stuck in consuming mode. That's all you know. No judgment here. Okay? What I'm telling you is that shift happened, right? You swapped yourself out for something greater, right? You had an upgrade, you see? And here you are, the creator now, creating your destiny, creating your reality, creating everything because you can see beyond that veil of illusion. You can see beyond the control. You understand that the matrix and the power that they have only came from us, you see? So therefore, we have to take it all back. That's what we always have to do. You see, this balance has been overturned, right? And we have to understand that all we have to do is take the power back. So shout out to everybody right now listening, watching that has been doing just that in your own unique way. That's what 5D is all about, channeling this energy, tapping into that cosmic force and bringing it right here to new earth and manifesting it in the most infinite way that you can imagine, right? That you can create, that you can actually do right here in the eternal now. So keep going. Okay, yes, you're going to hit more roadblocks. Yes, we're going to hit, 
even more confrontational battles, right, during the spiritual war, you see? And there's even going to be more brainwashing, more mind control games, right? Think about the food. Just think about the air that they're, you know, exposed to on a daily basis, right? So this toxicity that we're dealing with is not going away overnight. You see what I mean? We have to address the physical, right? Just because the 3D versus 5D evolution is happening doesn't mean that 3D disappears. You see? We still have this physical construct here. We still have the body, right? It doesn't mean that it's quote-unquote bad. You see? We got to get out of duality altogether and understand it is what it is. You see? So understanding that, yes, there are two sides and you could choose or... You can understand that this is happening because it needs to happen and you have to play your part and show up 150% and be authentic, right? And don't blame anybody for anything and understand that you have to take your part in this and then keep going. So shout out to all of you because, again, I know this is not easy. I want to really just extend some more gratitude and just give you some love right now because this journey and this path that we're all on together here is not an easy one right now during this yuga, right? During this time that we're in right now, right? The consciousness is extremely low. Therefore, we are jumping in the fire, right? On a daily basis. I don't know about you. I feel like Neo <laughs> dodging bullets. Woo! Shoo, shoo, like doing the karate, right? Doing all of these, you know, jujitsu, doing all of these, you know, kung fu moves, energetically right as the alchemist as the person who's transmuting all of this energy right now i just have to give you you know a shout out and congratulate you for getting this far honestly look at what we've been through you see it's not easy it's been rough to say the least without getting into the details without getting into the beliefs or which side you're on or team red or team blue or any of that duality stuff understand it is what it is and here we are now right so this is for everybody that you know has been questioning things right going deeper you see expanding into that oneness understanding that there is something happening beyond the scenes right we don't have to get into conspiracies we don't have to get into theories of, of any kind really you have to trust your intuition you see trust your gut here on this one you see go deeper because you know what's happening on the surface isn't all to what the eye can see right there's so much more, right? So again, shout out to everybody who's been digging deeper, expanding to the infinite cup, all right? Understand that all of this is happening because it's necessary. Embrace it, you see? And then we can get to a little bit smoother ride in all of this, all right? Until next time, guys, infinite love, infinite peace. I'm out.